Reborn greetings to you today in the name of Jesus. Welcome to the sixth day in the month of August 2024. Welcome to part seven of our exposition on the book of Isaiah chapter six, verse one. Thank you, Jesus. Scripture speaking, he said, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon the throne high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. In the past few editions, we have been looking at Mark chapter 8. Scripture said they brought the blind man to Jesus and requested that he touch him. Jesus took the blind man out of town, spat on him and touched him. And in Mark 8, 24, the man looked up and said, I see men as trees. In verse 25, after that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up and he was restored and saw every man clearly. The people just wanted Jesus to touch him, but Jesus said, no, he took them through a process. Beloved, life may be taking you through a process now. God is behind it so that he will perfect your testimony. Let me hear your love. Amen. Jesus made them to understand that there was a process to restoration. There was a process to recovery. There was a process to sight. Verse 25 of Mark 8 told us the secret. Scripture said he was restored. When he was restored, he now began to see clearly. Oh my God. God, oh my God. Without restoration, there may be no perfection of that which you are looking for. In this season, God will perfect all that concerns us in the name of Jesus. I have good news for you today. Joel chapter 2, verse 25, scripture says, I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. Verse 26, and ye shall eat in plenty. You see, when the restoration has been secured then testimony and thoughtfulness you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the lord your god that had dead one trust with you and my people shall never be ashamed by virtue of the restoration god is bringing into our lives from the destiny in this season shame is taken away from our lives in the name of jesus let me hear your love amen let me hear your love amen let me hear your love amen jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 for I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord. Because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. The Lord is saying, I will restore. I will restore this. I know my ways. These are God's ways. Go before God to and say, Lord, my character in this season, let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Restoration creates a platform for our testimonies to become a blessing to us. Restoration creates a platform, creates an opportunity, creates a vacancy for everything that has lost to be recovered. In this season, the Lord will restore us. Scripture said when he was restored, he saw clearly. Until we are restored, we may not see clearly. In our homes, there shall be restoration. In our marriages, there shall be restoration. In our families, there shall be restoration. In our career, there shall be restoration. In our finances, there shall be restoration. Let me hear your love. Amen. Beloved, the restoration does not happen on a platform of idleness. We need to take a step of faith. Matthew 9, 21. For she said within herself, if I may touch but his garment, I shall be made whole. Matthew 9, 22. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith had made thee whole. And the woman was made great from that hour. Beloved, we need to take a step of faith. Hebrews 11 says, But for without faith it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that is the reward of them that diligently seek him. With this well this morning, go before God. Go before God, oh Lord, stay up my faith. Help me to yield to you. Help to be obedient to your will. Let my eyes be opened. Cause me to be restored and help me to see clearly. Help me to see clearly in the name of the Lord Jesus. Go before God and begin to speak to him. In the name that is above every other name, Makapa da the grace to take a step of faith, the grace to obey God, the grace to attract divine restoration and perfection of all our testimonies rest upon us now in Jesus' name. Amen. You are blessed.